welcome back to my channel my name is Brittany bundles and today's video is another vlog video on the agenda we're going to start off the vlogs like we typically do with getting some orders out of the way i did pre-packaged orders last night so today i just have to do a few sample orders um so that's what i'm about to get started doing i have my sample here out here um again the sample here is the same here that i um sale it's it's bundle hair that has been opened and i cut them um and package them up so that clients and customers and potential clients and customers can try out different samples without investing in a full bundle. Um, I do also offer full bundle samples. So if you are interested in testing out any hair textures for your business, um, definitely check out my website, which is badchickhair.com. I will put it across the screen. It's also down below, um, but that's what I'm doing. So again, I just take standard 12 inch bundles, like what you may see right here. And I go ahead and I cut off the um, tie and I begin cutting off pieces if my customers or clients order, um, you know, the four inch weft samples that I offer. And if they order full 12 inch bundles, then I go ahead and send out four bun full bundles, excuse me, in my sample kit. So I'm going to be working on some sample orders like I mentioned. Um, what I want to do first is I want to start off by writing the textures that I'm sending out on my business cards, which I've shown and a lot of different vlogs. Once I complete the um, order portion of my day, I'm gonna hurry up and go to the post office. Right now it is one o'clock, so I need to be there. Oh, it's a loose dog. I need to be there um, by before five. Um, I also have been looking for, or been planning to look for a cute package box or bag to send my sister's baby shower a gift in however she just had her baby a few days ago so congratulations if you are watching this video congratulations sis she had her baby and her baby is so beautiful but she did come early nothing wrong with that it's just i knew i should have sent out the gift in my last vlog which was maybe last week but i was kind of pushing it off because i wanted to add more things to it too and i didn't make it to the store to look at different um packaging um options like different gift wraps and things like that so i was like you know what i'll just do it next week but my niece is is now here so i do need to go ahead and send that stuff out like i've been saying in many vlogs so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, head over to target today i also do want a coffee i haven't had coffee at all today and i can go ahead and make some coffee but i do want i just kind of had i woke up with a craving for a cake pop um <clears throat> If you've been watching my vlogs, then you know I typically go to Starbucks for my coffee if I'm going to get coffee anywhere. But lately, I haven't been showing this on too many vlogs, but I've been going to, um, what is that place called? It is Dunkin' Donuts. So I did have a vlog where I got my laptop um, fixed and we were out of the city um, that I live in and we tried Dunkin' Donuts for Valentine's Day or... It wasn't Valentine's Day, I don't think, that day, but it was Valentine's season. Um, so Dunkin' Donuts had like different Valentine's Day donuts and drinks and things like that. And I fell in love with their iced coffee. They literally have some of the best iced coffees that I have tasted from any place. Um, so if I was looking to get coffee today, I have more of a taste for Dunkin' Donuts, but I do want a cake pop from Starbucks. So you know, you have to kind of weigh it out. I'm not going to go both, both places, even though I could. Starbucks is by my house. Dunkin' Donuts is on my way to Target. So I could go to both places, but I don't want to do that. And then because it's like lunchtime now, I kind of want Chick-fil-A too. So I'm like, I may end up getting Chick-fil-A and just getting a coffee from Chick-fil-A because they really do have some good, um, I don't know if it's called like their frozen iced coffee or if it's just iced coffee but there was one time I got a coffee or one time where I got a coffee from Chick-fil-A why am I using this pan like this one time I got um, a coffee from Chick-fil-A and it was like it kind of it was kind of like a frosty texture frost like you know the frosties from um Wendy's so it was really good I love the texture and I love the taste but typically when I go to um Chick-fil-A I get um lemonade to drink so I don't know you can probably tell that I am hungry so let me go ahead and get started so right now i'm just writing down the textures i've mentioned this in some other videos this just helps me make sure that i am sending out the right samples um, per order so i write down um, all of the textures that are being sent out with this order and then i work on this order and then when i'm done with this order you know i'll go ahead and fulfill the next
So that is what I'm doing. It is also spring break. So my kids are super excited for that. Um, spring break actually starts today for us. So I did plan on going out of town for spring break. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm thinking that I will take the boys someplace um, out of town. There's not much to do here, um, but I'm kind of conflicted because of the pandemic, you know. Um, I'm kind of like, you don't want your life to necessarily stop. You know, and you don't, for me, you know, I don't want my life to stop and I don't want it to be just confined in my house for, you know, just until, but I do want to be safe and I don't want to be careless and traveling or, um, you know, with trying to live my life still. So sometimes I kind of go back and forth, like, you know, Brittany, you may want to travel here you may want to go here, but should you? And then when I'm taking my kids, it's kind of a, it's a, it's a heightened level of anxiety because I'm like, okay, it's one thing for me to go out of town, you know, and have, um, my family or, you know, their dad watch them while I'm out of town, but there's another thing to take them and, um, take them and then you know god forbid they're exposed to something that they shouldn't be exposed to um as far as you know like a sickness or just just anything like that so i i try to weigh back you know weigh weigh the the options in my mind when i am looking at taking them someplace but i know they have been begging to go someplace because it's just been a, a different year, you know. This year was supposed to be my um, oldest son's first year in middle school. And you know, that's a big deal. I remember how excited I was to go to middle school and and to find out that, you know, you're, you're going to middle school, you're doing middle school work, but you're not actually going to middle school to experience that with your friends because of the pandemic. You know, so it's, it, it can be a little downer. Um, I, I can only imagine the children that were, um, or, or excuse me, teenagers that were um, planning on going to prom and, you know, this kind of, you know, changed up how prom was going to go and different things like that. So, you know, you, you want to do things, but you just want to be safe. So I probably will end up doing something and just making sure that we um, are as cautious as we possibly can be. But hmm, those are just some of my thoughts. Just kind of talking to you all as if you're here while I'm working. Um, you probably can hear them in the background now. They're playing right now. Um, all right. So I'm not going to play any music because, like I've been mentioning in all of my blogs, I am nervous to do so because of my copyright claims that I got recently. I did get a comment where someone left a website for me to try for copyright free um, or, co or copyright claim free music. And I'm going to check that out. Um, but until then, I'm not playing any music. Well, I'm going to limit the amount of music that I play in my blogs. Um... So uh, I'll probably go ahead and end this section of the vlog and then pick you all back up once I'm on my way to the post office. I don't know if I'll record me going in the post office or not. It just depends on how busy it is and how I'm feeling. Um, but this is what I'm going to be working on for a minute. So I just have a few more samples to package for this order. And then... I have a few more orders to get out, to get packaged. And like I said, I did do some pre-packaging um, work last night, if you will. So,
I'm gonna finish this and then I will be right back with you all once I'm completed with this task and moving on to the next. All right. So we're on the way. Um, well, in just a second, we'll be on the way, on our way to the post office. Um, trying to think what I want to get to eat. Um, I know my kids are gonna get something to eat with their dad. Um, he took them to play basketball so they can get out the house for a little bit. So, um, and do something like active. So they're playing ball and they're gonna get some lunch. But I'm trying to think what I want to eat. Like, what do I wanna eat for lunch? I didn't know that Panera started selling um, pizza. Flatbread pizzas. I love flatbread pizza. Um, I don't know why it was so hard for me to say that, but I love fl uh, flatbread pizza so much. Um, so I'm thinking of possibly going to Panera to get some pizza and a salad. But the way that my hunger is set up today, I really don't want to try anything new. I don't know if you all can relate, but it's like when you're really hungry, you kind of, for me, I don't really don't want to experiment. Like I want to go someplace that I know is going to be good. So I am thinking of going to um, oh, one moment. Okay, I'm thinking of going to Chick-fil-A and getting their chicken sandwich and a coffee and also lemonade. That's what I'm thinking. And then tonight I have a taste for barbecue chicken, like baked barbecue chicken. So I'm gonna head over to the grocery store too and get some some chicken and I also I want some corn I don't know I, had a, I have a taste for like baked barbecue chicken corn and macaroni or maybe even macaroni salad too I don't know but that's what I have a taste for so I may get that for dinner um and yeah that's what I think I'll get for dinner that'd be really good um so so hungry okay so once i stop at the post office i'll go ahead and head out to target and i think i'll stop before i go into target because i don't want to be buying snacks all through target and just not really looking or forgetting things because i'm so hungry and i'm trying to get out the store so i'm gonna drop my orders off at the post office and then head over to get something to eat i'm leaning towards chick-fil-a go to target grocery store and then back home so um, I have a limited battery, so I'm going to have to be really strategic as to how I vlog so that I can um, get this battery to last the entire time that I'm out. I also do want to get another charger for my Galaxy because um, my youngest son, I gave him, I didn't really give him, but I mean, I guess I did give him, you could say, the tablet that I used to use for my work because I'm now using my laptop and my computer and his tablet was broke so um the, t the charger that that tablet takes is the same one that my galaxy takes and then both of my sons have galaxy phones so we're all using that one charger because all of the other chargers are lost so i'm thinking of getting another charger because the boys share that charger pretty well they all like rotate when they need it and I don't allow them to be on their phones like all, all day. So they don't need individualized chargers at this point. Um, I'll probably get them some later, but they're fine with that one. But I do need another charger for my phone. So they can have theirs and I can have one um, instead of us all, like four people using that one charger. So that's what I think I'll do too. Maybe stop at five and below. I don't even know if they have chargers though for galaxies at five and below. But they should, I would think. So yeah, I'm gonna stop a few places and then I'll um, I'll definitely pick you all back up, um, you know, along the way. So that's my little check-in and I'll talk to you all in a moment. All right, so I am now leaving the post office. I'm about to head over to Chick-fil-A. I did make my mind up, so Chick-fil-A it is for lunch. Um, eat there for a minute and then shoot over to Target, find a cute 
gift package and then what else did I need to do? I need to go to the grocery store, get some dinner and then head back home. So it's not too many people here today at all. Like there was just a rush. So maybe like me and three other people, but now there's literally no one else here. Like no one else here, you can see. It's just no one here. I normally don't see the post office like that ever. So this is rare, but I'm gonna go ahead and put my music back on. Um, I do listen to music in the car. And when I'm vlogging, I try, you know, I don't, I have to turn my music off. So I try to just get out of the groove of even listening to music when I'm vlogging. But on days like this, where it's a, you know, nice day and I'm just relaxing, don't really have too, too much to do that's work related. I do like to listen to my music and kind of just cruise, so to speak. So I'm going to turn my music back on and pick you all back up. Oh, I also need to get a charger. I hope I get done with everything today. I might end up uh, getting a charger from Target instead of running over to five below, but I would hate to spend more at Target if I can get the same charger at five below for five bucks. So I don't know, but I kind of doubt they do have any chargers at five and below for my Galaxy Note. I don't know. But I'll pick you all back up in just a moment. All right, so I'm now at Chick-fil-A and I got a, it's not called an iced coffee, it's a frosted coffee. So that's why in the beginning of the vlog, I kind of hinted toward the texture being like a Wendy's Frosty. Um, that's because it is frosted. So it's a frosted coffee that I got. I got a number five, I believe, which is a chicken club. Hi. Hi. Uh, what is your birthday? Yes. Did you want your seat for that? No, thank you. Right, you're all set. Thank you. Me too. So I got the chicken club and fries and a lemonade to drink along with a small frosted coffee. So that should be good. I'm gonna pull over here to the parking lot and eat. Um, this is kind of like a strip mall, so there's a lot of different stores over here. And um, I'm just gonna park in the parking spot and eat. I may even call my sister and FaceTime her so I can see the baby again. I think today is the day she got discharged and is going home, but I'm not sure. Um, she told me yesterday, but I forgot. I forgot if it was today or if she's leaving tomorrow, but I'm gonna probably FaceTime her so I can check on her and see how she's doing. I don't think I'm going to eat on FaceTime or not FaceTime, eat on um, the vlog just because I don't really like eating on vlogs. I mean, I will do it um, if I'm doing like a taste test or reaction video or, or trying to do a challenge or whatnot. Um, but typically, and I have eaten on vlogs too, but typically I really don't enjoy eating on vlogs. Um, I just like to enjoy my food, excuse me, enjoy my food off camera. So, um, uh, the hair that I have in today, um, in case anyone's wondering, I have two different textures in, which I do sometimes. Um, it's just when I can't find the bundles for a certain texture and I don't want to use any new bundles, I'll reuse the hair. So this hair at the bottom is Brazilian body wave and at the top it's Mongolian deep wave. So if you look very close, you can see the difference in the textures. Um, but if you're not looking that close, then you may not catch it. It doesn't, I'm, I'm okay with it. Like I said, I have a closure. That's Mongolian deep wave and then bundles that are Brazilian body wave. Yes. Here you are. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. You too, thank you. Okay. And the way that I get them to blend if anyone's interested in knowing is I use conditioner and mousse so I'll use more conditioner like on the um I don't want to say more conditioner but pretty much like in the shower I'll go ahead and I'll wet the entire sewing because this is a sew-in so I sewed in the Mongolian deep wave closure and then the Brazilian body wave bundles because I could find those bundles this morning and I could not find where I put my Mongolian Z-Wave bundles that I had already used. 
because um, sometimes I don't like, you know, I don't want to get new bundles out of my inventory. Sometimes I will, but a lot of times I'll just reuse my hair because you, you can reuse the hair. Um, so I'll wash the hair, um, like co-wash the hair with conditioner. And then when I get out, I will scrunch up the bottom, not really the top, but scrunch up the bottom and then put mousse at the bottom too to kind of hold the curl. And I'll put mousse just at the top, but I really won't put too much mousse like, you know, on the Mongolian deep wave. Um, I found that that has kind of helped this part stay a little curly and this part drop a little bit. So it kind of matches. But again, they don't. I mean, if you look close, you can see the difference in the textures, but it's fine to me. It's, it's OK. So if any of you are wondering or if you ever see me wearing hair and it looks like I have different textures in more than likely I do. I do mix and match my texture. Sometimes I just want a different look and I'll do that too. Or sometimes I've dyed a certain batch of bundles and I want to use those bundles with a certain closure. Um, I'll do that too. So that's what I have in today. This is what the ice, not ice, but the frosted coffee looks like. Looks like it's melting a little bit, but it's really, really good. And then I also got my lemonade. And I am parked outside of, like I say, like some store because I'm um, Chick Fil A is kind of in this. Um, I don't want to say it's right across the street, but it's kind of in the same plaza as I guess you can say a strip. This strip mall. Um, but this is what my sandwich is looking like. I do dip my sandwich in Chick Fil A sauce. And then I use the sweet sriracha, sweet and spicy sriracha, excuse me, for my fries. This for my sandwich. They also gave me this sauce, but I never used this when they put it in the bag. So I'm gonna go ahead and put sanitizer on one more time and begin eating. such a nice day out today too it started off really gloomy but the sun is definitely making its way out it's just a nice day but i'm about to make a few calls and then i'm going to listen to this video that i'm watching um but i have a, i have the phone connected to my car so i'm going to listen to the video um while it plays on my car while i eat this and then head over to target i hope i don't get super tired after eating to the point where I don't want to go any place, but even if I don't want to go at this point, I need to go. I don't need to push it back any any longer. So I'll go ahead and eat this, and then I will be right back with you all. Okay, so I just got done eating. I'm on my way to Target now. Um, I wanted to give you all an update on my AirPods. So a few vlogs ago, I explained that I lost my AirPods, or I lost one of my AirPods. I did find that AirPod in my bathroom under like my um my i don't want to say it was under the sink but it was like under the cabinet under the sink um so i found it there i got out the shower one day and i was like i just looked down something just told me to look down and i found my airpod so that was good i still have the same issue with my airpods connecting to my where's my iphone app for some reason they will not connect so I didn't really pay, pay much attention to it. I took it, um, I took my AirPods out of the case because I always use like a case with my AirPods and I connect it to my purse. But I decided to take it out of the case and disconnect or, you know, unhook it from my purse and just carry them around as so, you know, just in a white container and uh, or that white pouch. And I lost it again. So I thought that I lost the case behind my bed because I... I um, went to make my bed one morning. I flipped my covers and I heard something hit the wall. So I just assumed that it was my ear pods. But I didn't feel like digging down and 
you know, move, maneuvering my bed in a way that would allow me to, you know, grab my AirPods or look for my AirPods. So I decided not to do it that day. I went back a few days ago to try to find my AirPods and they were not under my bed. I moved that whole bed by myself, which it was very heavy. I ended up um, cleaning out under my bed because there were a lot of things that shouldn't be under my bed that were. I had a lot of papers that I needed to put where they belong. I had a box of sunglasses because there was a point where I was collecting different barbie looking sunglasses so i think i'm gonna give those to um i don't have any girls so my friends kids or my nieces come on So I um, took those from up under my bed. What else did I have? There were some socks that I fell on the side of my bed that were just there and some other stuff. So it was good that I moved my bed. I went ahead and vacuumed under it really good, but I still didn't find my ear pods. So I was getting ready to get in the car and to actually head out to Best Buy to get me some new ear pods. And I moved my mask my mask is right here in this cup holder where this iced coffee is and uh long and behold my ear pods were right there they were right in the cup holder so my ear pods have been lost twice in the last 30 days but um we are here let me show you we're at target we're here we're finally at target uh, i'm gonna go in and see what i can find and then come back out i don't know if i'll vlog in the store or not but i will definitely keep you all updated all right so we are finally inside of target and i really like these boxes so i was thinking of getting one of these boxes and putting the things inside of the box and then um sending the gift out in this my only concern is that i am going to have to um put this box inside of another box to mail it out um or i mean i guess i wouldn't have to necessarily I don't know i'm also looking at the bags to see if i see any bags that i like um they had so many options and i had a vision for how i wanted the uh, gift to be packaged but because i'm going to be mailing it i was just kind of conflicted as to what i wanted if i wanted a bag and then um, I would need to find a box that I could put the bag inside of or did I want a box but then I'd have to really really secure the box really well to make sure that it doesn't just pop open or even put the box inside of another box um, so I saw this bag this bag is really really pretty it stuck out to me almost instantly it says congratulations it was like a light pink um, and white color and then I saw this bow this bow looks like it's made for this bag it just looks so pretty together um so that's what i initially wanted to go with i also grabbed a card i'll show you the card um when we get into or when i get back in the car but um yeah i really really like this so the bag and then i was like maybe i should get some shredded paper um the shredded paper that i just put the bag up to it really didn't match that well uh, but I do have some white shredded paper at home. So I was thinking of just using that and then using some of this paper to wrap the gifts up um, in. But I really didn't like the color selection with that bag. So I was leaning toward the white. Now, if my sister was local, I would definitely get this set and I would put the gifts inside of that bag, put the bow on top of the bag and wrap the gifts in that paper and deliver it to her like that with the card inside and everything. Um, but since she's not, I went another route and I'm going to show you just a glimpse of what I decided to get right here, but I'll show you more in the car and explain my idea. But right now I'm looking at chargers. Um, so I'm trying to find a charger for my galaxy, um, no. And then also, you know, that charger can be used for the other galaxy devices in my home as well. And for my iPad. So I'm just over here looking to see which one makes the, the best sense for what I'm looking for. I decided to get um, two chargers. So it's, it was one package, but two came inside of it. So, yep, that's what I decided to go with. 
Okay, so I just got out of Target. And initially I was gonna get, um, I did not even know I had sauce on my um, shirt, but I already threw away my napkins. I didn't get that many. I normally have some napkins in my glove compartment, but I don't have any. Maybe I can use this mask. I'll wash this one when I get home anyways. Oh. Mm. Mm. Well, see if I can, how can I fix this until I get home? <laughs> Is that gonna stay like that? No. Um, let me see. Sometimes when I'm hungry, I eat so messy. Okay, that's better. So initially I was gonna get um, a bag to send everything in and I saw the perfect bag. It was a congratulations bag. I showed it in the vlog, but I decided not to get it because I will have to find a box that's big enough to hold the things that I'm putting inside of the bag as well as the bag itself. So I decided to send a box with, um, like just pretty much decorate the box on the inside. So I'll have, this on the inside i have some other ones um what is this like a little confetti paper shred i have some uh, some more um that are different colors at home so i may add what i have at home to the box as well and then i'm going to wrap each of the um gifts in this paper here and then i'm also going to top it off with the bow that i'm going to put on the top gift or maybe i'll put it wrap the top gift in white and then put this on top of it and then i got a card that says sweet baby girl and i'll write a little note inside so that's what i got to decorate the inside with um and then i also remember i was looking for galaxy chargers um, this was like $16 for both. So I thought this was a good deal. It does not come with the wall plug uh, or the base of the charger, but I think we have enough at home. It's just the chargers that went out. So this should work. So now we'll have three chargers in the house and um, I'm thinking of giving the chargers to my older sons and then me and my baby, uh, we're just probably gonna share the charger that we currently have. So everyone will have chargers and then i just got some candy for the boys i know they like like these little things but that's all i got that is all i got um so right now i'm about to head home i did want to go to the grocery store to get some chicken and some corn and stuff like that but i think i'll cook that on sunday today's friday so i'll probably cook whatever i have in there for tonight and then go grocery shopping tomorrow or sunday but at this point, I'm kind of tired. I'm not going to lie. The sun has completely went away. Well, not completely, but um, it's not as bright and it's not as warm as I thought it would be. It was a little warmer when I started off, started out the day. And then um, it's, it's cold now. So I'm going to get in and find a movie and just chillax the rest of the day. And then the vlog that I am recording now will go up on Monday. And you know I'm on a new posting schedule, so Monday, Tuesday, Friday. So because I'll have this video scheduled for Monday, I'll really have tomorrow, so Saturday, Sunday, and a little bit of Monday to work on my projects because on Monday I do need to get another video out if I don't do it ahead of time, but another video out for my video on Tuesday. I'm not posting a new podcast episode this Thursday because remember I'm on every other Thursday. Um, again, if you have not watched the updates video on my new posting schedule, be sure to check that out. It's like three to four videos um, before this video, but that will kind of give you insight on what I'm referring to in a lot of my videos. So that's it for this vlog. I'm about to go home, watch a movie and just chill out. If you all, again, have any video suggestions, leave them down below. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.